I now kindly call Pennsylvania Treasurer Stacy Garrity. Good morning. Thank you, Senator Pennycook. And thanks for inviting me to speak here this morning. Um, I'm honored to be here with my fellow veterans and public servants. Nearly 66,000 women veterans live here in Pennsylvania. And we owe our thanks to you, Senator Penny Cook, for spearheading the law that will allow us to celebrate the first ever official Women Veterans Day in Pennsylvania on June 12th, just one week from today. It's an exciting moment to officially recognize the great impact more than three million women have had on our nation's military since the American Revolution. Women weren't recognized as permanent regular members of our armed forces until 1948, but that didn't stop us from fighting for our country from the beginning. Women like Margaret Corbin, who disguised herself as a man and fought right alongside her husband in the American Revolution. She continued fighting after his death, and she was shot three times herself. Women like the 3,000 nurses who helped the Union Army in the Civil War, and women like the 12,000 female yeomen who served in the Navy during World War I. Women have always been on the front lines to fight for our democracy. Our numbers in the military continue to grow. We now make up more than 17% of our active duty force and more than 21% of the Guard and Reserve. Service to others is the greatest calling, and I know that call to service has guided many of us here today. I'm honored to be included in this exhibit which commemorates women who served in the military and continue their public service in Pennsylvania state government. We're united by our service to our country. We're part of the 1% of Americans who will ever wear this nation's uniform. We're also united by our work to make the lives of those we've kept safe even better. As we prepare to celebrate Women Veterans Day, I want to thank every woman who fought, came before me who fought for our country. I want to thank all of my fellow veterans gathered here today, and I want to thank all of the women serving right now. Thank you all for your bravery and for inspiring the next generation of strong women who will join our military. And I also want to thank the families of our women who have served. They often don't get enough credit for their own sacrifices. They know firsthand the stress of military life and they understand their loved one's commitment to keep us safe. The support and sacrifices of our military families cannot be forgotten or understated. Senator Penny Cook, thank you again for making this event possible. I have a proclamation that I'd like to present to you and that is to help commemorate the first Women Veterans Day next Monday and to honor you for your service to thank our country you. and our state. Thank you. You're welcome. So thanks again for having me. God bless all of you. God bless Pennsylvania and God bless the United States.